welcome back to better video welcome back to the channel man so man we finally back on the long pod studio sessions like i said i was waiting on the first one to go out to get like confirmation and say that we could do the second one because i didn't want to do a second one and then the first one didn't even go out so we would do the second one for no reason at all but the fact that it was able to go out we are back here to do the second part to this right here we're gonna check out two more songs today i think the track three right now it says the great american dynasty i think the other one will be like the one with the i think it'll be exile i think though i'm not too sure so first of all as you can see we got two taylor swift uploads for y'all today so i hope you guys do enjoy that as well but before we get into this reaction right here right before we get into this reaction right here i fell in love with the song the one so much bro that i had to learn that on the ukulele so i got my ukulele right here and if you guys know what time it is if i got that ukulele pulled out bro i'm finna play a song for y'all bro you know what i'm saying like you new Taylor Swift? Because I ain't never played no Taylor Swift song on the channel. So y'all gonna be like, what, bro? He black and he know how to play the ukulele. You damn right, boy. You damn right. So, hey, I'm finna play the one. And I might not sing. I might, but I'm gonna let you guys know. Like, I I'm gonna just do like a little short thing. If you guys want the full version, I need 150 likes. 150 likes for the cover, bro. Koala can't. It'll be my first cover ever on YouTube. So, if y'all want a cover, 150 likes. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that might be too easy, bro. Because y'all y'all really like up the vid. Let's do 200 likes. 200 likes. And I do a cover of this song right here. I promise y'all do it. I need 200 likes though so it's that the goal is set higher y'all can do it though y'all work hard though if y'all really want that and uh if we don't hit that then thank you god because i'm gonna be trash but i'm gonna definitely learn that thing you know what i'm saying so hey i'm gonna go ahead and pull up the, the chords though so if you guys want to kind of like uh see it with me i'm gonna just do this top part right up here so let me get these like, like i gotta warm up a little bit but i'm gonna I'm let that play i'm gonna cut up a little bit and uh before this like before we get into traction man so hey let's just do it right how that sounded come on now hey koala can he know how to play the one and and see this might be my my um my application to get in taylor's band that'd be dope but she ain't got no good ukulele -er up in there but i might do such a good job that she might hire a ukulele -er and it'd be your boy koala cam so hey we just don't know you entire cover from your boy koala cam now my singing ain't there i'm gonna be honest if you dislike the video because of my singing i'm not a singer at all bro i don't sing but i can damn show get down on the ukulele so if y'all want the full entire cover bro i wouldn't mind it at all bro because I, I love doing this type of stuff right here oh man i know how to play watermelon sugar and i know how to play this song bro you know i'm god's head but that deserves a like button though that that really do deserves a like button and it also deserves a subscribe bro because uh Boy, boy, boy. I enjoyed that. <sighs> bro, I'm getting better at the ukulele, bro. I think it's time for me to start looking for a gig, bro. Are, are y'all going to come to my concert? Be honest. And if I'm trash, tell me I'm trash. Okay? Tell me I'm trash in the comment section, but just let me know. How did I do? You know what's man? We just finna go get straight into this reaction, man. Hey, let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. When you sent me the track for Last Great American Dynasty, I had been wanting to write a song about Rebecca Harkness since 2013 probably and I'd never figured out the right way to do it because there was never a track that felt like it could kind of hold an entire story of 
somebody's life and whatever and move between yeah. generations or whatever. Then when I heard that, I was like, oh my God, I think this is my opening. I think this is my moment. I think I can write the Rebecca Harkness story. <laughs> mm. that, and, that song is such a folklore moment to me because it's not about you, but it is all about you. Well, it's, it's that like, country music um, kind of um, narrative device yes. where in country music, it's like, this guy did this, then this woman did this, yeah. then they met, and their kid was me. Totally. Like, yeah. <laughs> and like, I was that man. Yeah, I was that kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, they ain't lying, though. Country music, they, they be telling stories, though. They stories do be dope, though. But I, Which is the best. It's I like you, you listen to country songs, and you're just totally. like shivers everywhere, my whole body. Like, even though it's not till the very end when you spin it around, even though the story is about someone else, I think it's the most revealing thing. I think it's, a, it's so deeply personal. And it really hits you in the gut when you hear that at the end. Thanks. It's real good. Man. <laughs> Rebecca rode up on the afternoon train. It was sunny. Her salt box house on the coast took her mind off St. Louis. Bill was the heir to the standard oil name. And money. The town said, how did a middle-class divorce do it? The wedding was charming, if a little gauche It was only so far, no money goes They picked out a home and called it Holiday House The parties were tasteful, if a little loud The doctor I do got were told that. him to settle down It must have been her fault, his heart gave Said, there goes the last Wait, you got y'all like? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Taylor Twill. Y'all like the lyrics? My bad. Let me put them up there. Y'all like them? When y'all, when I do Taylor. Who knows if she never showed up? What could have been? There goes the maddest woman this town has ever seen. She had a marvelous time. Rebecca gave up on the road I then set forever Flew in all her bitch packed friends from the city mm. Filled the pool with champagne, swam with the big names And blew through the money on the boys and the ballet Losing on card game bets with Dolly And they said, there goes the last great American dynasty Showed up what could have been. There goes a machine. Bruh, my question is, bruh, this is the question. He's playing. So, this drum right here is called a snare. I did drum lessons before. I was a terrible drummer and I stopped doing drum lessons. <laughs> I don't know how to, because it's like drums, you know? But I just gave up, right? But this is a snare. But what is he. Not even beaten with a stick at least i don't think he is what is he i don't know bro but the fact that the only drum that's using the song is literally only a snare drum this isn't even a whole set that's dope there goes a more shameless woman this town has ever seen she had a marvelous time ruining everything they say she was seen on occasion in the rocks there and out at the midnight sea and in a feud with a neighbor she stole his dog and died at key lime green 50 uses a long time holiday house sad quietly on that beach free of women with madness the men in bad habits and then it was bought by me yeah see and and that's why i like this song so much bro because that last 20 seconds when she just ramps it up bro that's like so it's it just sounds so well put together bro so well put together and then she say all this stuff went down and then she said the house was bought by her it's dope taylor bro taylor who knows if i never showed up what could have been there goes the loudest woman this town has ever seen. I 
had a marvelous time ruining everything. I had a marvelous time ruining everything. A marvelous time ruining everything. A marvelous time ruining everything. Marvelous time. That song is dope. Y'all want that on the ukulele? I can do it. I like that song. That what? Oh, so they don't explain everything, bro. Nah, that's bad. I wish they could. High key. I only wish our other two co-writers were here. Justin Who? Vernon and William Bowery. Justin is a is uh, one of the greatest ever. Uh, William, I never got to meet. There's been a lot of discussion about William Bowery and his identity because. It's not a real person. It's not? Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a bit. <laughs> the bit, that would have gone on forever. What? <laughs> Who? When? So, William Bowery is Joe, as we know. And Joe's, Joe plays piano beautifully, and he, he's always just playing and making things up and kind of creating things. And Exile was crazy because Joe had written that entire piano part that dun 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 and it was singing the Bonnie Vare part that I can see you standing, honey, with his arms around your yes. body, laughing but the joke's not funny at all. And Lyrics I too? Yeah, he was just singing it Jesus. the way that the whole first first verse is. Wow. And so I was entranced and asked if um we could keep writing that one and pretty it was pretty obvious that it should be a duet because he's got such a low voice and it sounded really good sung down there and yeah. in that register and then um we're really 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 big bonnie bear fans and you know so cool we know that aaron knows him but we <laughs> i was i was too afraid to suggest it but i i just when i sent it to aaron i was like this is uh hopefully a duet we i don't know who with <laughs> who would it be with who do you think would be good with this and Aaron was like I think Justin would love this and you're like really like, okay that could be interesting he I was... couldn't say it I couldn't say really? it is that really my... what happened no I couldn't say it with my with words because if he if I would have said it and he would have gone to Justin and Justin would have said no it would have hurt too much interesting mm. and we, when we talked about it I was like I think he's gonna be really inspired by this and when and then we sent it to him and he was and then the process of working on it and, and what he sent back and he wrote like we didn't oh. you didn't ask him to write anything but he wrote yeah. the, he wrote this like he wrote this amazing bridge da, 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 he wrote da, so, da, step so right step out, right out there is no <laughs> amount and like that whole bit i kept thinking this isn't really going to happen like justin is going to change his mind about this because this isn't a part of my reality there's no way that this is going to happen he's going to He's gonna record the vocals and then decide he doesn't want to be on the record. And then it just never, that just never happened. Like he just, he just is on the album and he's just the coolest and, and that's what's happening. I can see you standing, honey his arms around your body laughing but the joke's not funny at all and it took you five whole minutes to pack us up and leave me with it holding all this love out here in the hall I think I've seen this film before and I didn't like the ending you're not my homeland anymore So what am I defending now? You were my town Now I'm in exile seeing you out I think I've seen this film before
just your understudy Like you get your knuckles bloody for me Second, third and hundredth chances Balancing on breaking branches Those eyes add insult to injury I think I've seen this film before didn't like the ending I'm not your problem anymore So who am I bending now? You are my crown Now I'm in exile seeing you out I think I've seen this film before So I'm leaving out the side door So step right out There is no amount of crap That's in, that's insane. So like, here's the thing, right? We gon we gonna leave it at that twenty six forty two, okay? But here's the thing, right? This junk is so. Like, just imagine you work with Taylor, right? I wouldn't even consider that a job, bro. That's a hobby where, yo, hobby, or like, let's say your love of music. Well, first of all, working with Taylor is like a legendary thing. Like, let's say you 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 were able to be in the same studio. I think I said this in another direction. Got to the point though, it's a legendary thing to have, right? I wouldn't even call that a job though. Let's say I was the producer or whatever, I wouldn't even call that a job, bro. That'll be a hobby where your hobby doing something you love uh just automatically generates money that comes to you just because you love it so much. So whatever you love, bro, if you put your 100 percent in it, then it's just gonna, you know, like it's gonna do it for you, you know what I'm saying? So like that's the same thing with YouTube, right? I like doing YouTube so much, I like reacting so much that yeah, you know, I react to stuff. And I actually have an absolute blast doing it. But also, I get a little check from it as well. So, that's just dope, bro. I really enjoyed this, bro. Um, that's dope. What y'all think about my ukulele performance, though? What y'all think, bro? Rate it out of 10. I got to know. Honest answers only, bro. Don't be flodging on the net, bro. Do not be flodging on me. Because I keep it 100% with you guys. So, I want you guys to keep it 100% with me. Let me know how that jump was. Rate it on an honest scale out of 10. But, hey, man, I'm finna catch y'all guys in the next one, man. I think my next reaction is gonna be a rep tour. We just finished 1989 tour. What other series we need to add on the channel? Let me know, man. You know what's bad? I'm finna get up out of here. But if you guys didn't enjoy it, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below as well. On the way to 15,000 subscribers. Uh, that, though, spin more while I can. I can. I'm out to stay. Peace out.
Love you guys.